In video number 153 I introduced the DPS5005, an excellent power supply. Unfortunately the fan in the case was very loud. So let's solve this issue in less than 5 minutes and for about a dollar. And maybe you can use this solution also for other nagging fans. Grüezi YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent with a new episode around sensors and microcontrollers. The efficiency of the DPS5005 is very high, which means that it does not produce a lot of heat. But to be sure it never overheats, the manufacturer included a small fan with a case. This fan is rarely necessary, especially not if we do not use the device. But still, it is always on. I want to change that and want that the fan is only switched on when it is necessary. The simplest way to achieve this is to use a bimetal switch. Bimetal switches, as their name suggests, consist of two metals welded together. Often the materials are steel and copper. If heated, the different coefficients of thermal expansion makes the strip bend. And this bending is used to open or close an electrical contact very similar to a relay. Because the surface of the contacts is quite big, the on resistance is low and the maximal current which can be switched is 5 ampere. At Banggood I found an ideal part, the KSD 9700. It is quite small and only 3.6 mm wide. This is more or less the space between the fins of the heatsink of the TPS 5005. And the heatsink is the part of the device which heats up the fastest. We get the temperature switch with various switching temperature. I have here one which should switch at 45 degrees. So let's check. We connect the multimeter to the two cables of the temperature switch and the thermocouple below it. Now I start to heat the element. At about 50 degrees the contact closes and has a resistance of around 5 ohms, sometimes even lower. My measuring method is not very accurate, but sufficient for this purpose. The enclosing of the temperature switch is of metal to conduct the heat fast. So we have to do a last test. Is the enclosure connected to one of the cables? Yes, as expected it is. To avoid all risks, I want to isolate it from the heatsink. The heat shrink tube which comes with the sensor is too thick. So I used a normal one. I cut the positive wire of the fan and connected it to the two wires of the temperature switch. Now the KSD9700 acts as a normally open switch to the fan. Under normal conditions the temperature of the heatsink is room temperature and the fan is off. Then I start to use the power supply at 5 volts and 4 ampere. I have to wait for about 15 minutes till the fan begins to run. The temperature of the heatsink is around 50 degrees, which is very okay for such an application. And you decide how often your fan will run. Mine will probably only run a few times a year. But still, I am protected because I know it will be on if needed. A simple solution to a severe problem. Because a loud fan, which is entirely unnecessary, is not good for my mental health. Maybe the manufacturer watches this video and adds this cheap temperature switch to the housing product. I hope this quickie was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You will find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.